Star Review Week 29. Graph 2x minus 3y equals 6. Okay, to graph this, we need to make it... Well, we've got to do it two ways. Let's make it y-intercept. We're going to move the 2x over. That'll make it negative 3y equal negative 2x plus 6. Then we'll divide everything by negative 3. And that will turn into y equals 2 over 3x minus 2. So we know our y-intercept and we know our slope. So we'll go down here to the negative 2. And then we'll go up 2 over 3. Up 2 over 3. And then we'll go backwards. Down 2 over 3. Down 2 over 3. Connect the dots. Using any type of straight edge you have. Okay, that would be this line. Kind of got off right over here, didn't I? Okay, another way to do this is to get your x and y intercepts. Let's do that. 2x minus 3y equals 6. 2 times what is 6? 3, right? So the x-intercept would be a positive 3. Negative 3 times what is 6? The y-intercept is going to end up being a negative 2. If you look at the line, the y-intercept is negative 2 and the x-intercept is 3. We could have connected those two dots also. So you could change it to mx plus b, or you could... Uh, get the x and y intercepts from the standard form. On this one right here, we'll graph x equal negative three, which is gonna go through right here on the x-axis at negative three, and it's gonna go straight down, isn't it? Okay, this right here is x equal negative three. This right here is two x minus three y equals six. And then lastly, y equal two is gonna be right here. It's going to be a line straight across, right? Just like that. So we have our y equal 2 line. And let's do one more step right here. This has no slope. And this line right here has zero slope, doesn't it? Vertical line has no slope. Flat line has zero slope. What shape is formed by the intersection of the lines? We have a right triangle, don't we? Okay, so we have a right triangle. Using the legs of the right triangle, calculate the area. This right here would be one of the, this would be the height. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the height is six. This right here would be our base. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The base would be nine. So we're going to do six or one half of six times nine, which would be 27. Okay, what is the root of 2x minus 3y equals six? The root is where it crosses the x-axis. Same thing as a parabola. So the root would be three. Okay, what is the solution to the system 2x minus 3y and x equal negative three? That's where the lines cross. It crosses right here at negative three comma four. Graph a line perpendicular to 2x minus 3y equals 6 that goes through the point 2 comma 1. Okay, let's go up here. I'm glad we got this. This line right here is y equals 2 over 3x minus 2. To make it perpendicular, we're going to get the opposite reciprocal of that slope, which would make it negative 3 over 2, would it? Okay, so we're going to do this as our slope, and we're going to start at 2 comma 1. So let's go over 2, up 1, and then this slope means to go down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 2, down 3, over 2, and then we're going to go backwards, right? We're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 2. This point right here is really important. That's our y-intercept in it. So let's go ahead and graph these lines. It's going to go through this point and up through the 4, just like this. Notice that this has a slope of negative 3 over 2, so we're going to write that down. And then the y-intercept is positive 4, so we'll put plus 4.